Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, we're gonna talk about chumming for bluegill, or really any type of bait fish. So, stick around. I don't know if I'm the only one that knows this, but bluegill are really easy to catch in the spring. In your face, loser. <laughs> and they're hard to catch in the fall. At least the fish where I fish are, they kinda get lockjaw, or I guess hook shy, and they get wise to your fishing tactics towards the end of the season. Maybe because so many people done been there fishing for them, I don't know. And it makes it really hard to catch them. I had a catfish bait video, and it had my five best favorite baits on it. And one of my favorite baits to fish for catfish was bluegill, which around here we call brim. Brim is not a species, it's a category and they all in it. And I know somebody will be in the comment section arguing, it's a shell cracker. It's a brim, dude. It's a war mouth. It's a brim. It's a bluegill. It's a brim. Bluegill are also excellent for eating. I'm just saying. But towards the end of the summer or the fall when they get hard to catch and they just don't want to buy the hook. Oh, look a worm. I'm not falling for that crap. One of the best ways to catch them is by chumming. I drove down to the lake near my house to show you what I'm talking about. One of the things I like to chum with is oatmeal, believe it or not. But you got to mix it with water to make it heavy so it'll sink and it won't float. All right, so we tried to catch some fish with just worms and we didn't do too good. I got this oatmeal and I'm going to mix it with some water and just make it clumpy. This is McDonald's oatmeal and this is just regular old instant oatmeal they're both instant oatmeal but we're going to mix it with some water so it'll stick together and we're going to use this to chum up a hole all right so we got a little oatmeal concoction mixed up just put some water in it now i'm going to throw chunks of it in the water but first i'm going to cut the gopro on so we can see how the fish react to it Another good thing to chum with is bread. And you can use regular old loaf bread. Just break off little pieces, throw them in the water, and it'll drive the brim crazy. I'm telling you people, it works. Because them fish get a little bit picky. So when them fish are hard to catch, throw you a little chum in there. Because fish are stupid. Hey, watch it, buddy. I'm just saying. When you chum, you basically make fish that don't want to bite get in a feeding frenzy. And once they start eating, it makes them easier to catch. And if you're at a little lake and you're fishing, it's a good time to have a cooler like I made on one of my last videos. And that thing works good too. In case you're wondering what the cooler's for that I built a couple of videos ago, for getting bait to go fishing, it works great. Now I got a friend and his family owns a couple of docks on Lake James in North Carolina. And I rode down there to check it out because he was telling me they chummed to keep the fish around their dock. And it was pretty awesome. They chum that dock every day and if they're not there, they get their neighbors to come out and chum for them. Because chumming works great and the more consistent you are at it, the better it works. And it definitely makes the fish funner to catch. Believe it or not, chumming is also a great way to use the cast net. You can throw in some bread and right after it hits the water, throw your cast net in on top of it and you can catch bait fish. Now in some states like Kentucky, you can catch brim with a cast net, but in North Carolina you can't catch brim with a cast net. But I learned something while I was up there. I know most all fish love trout chow, but something I didn't know was gizzard shad like trout chow too. I guess you learn something new every day. Now when the sun goes down, they got lots around their dock and they cut those on. And I mean, it's all in the way you think about it. But now green lights, well that's chumming too. And you may ask yourself, how's green lights chumming? Well I made a video about a year ago about how to use green lights. And on that video I explained how 
the green lights attract plankton. Then the bait fish come to eat the plankton. Then the brim, crappy, catfish, everything else come to eat the bait fish. So, if you think about it, plankton is chum too. Oh, I let you go, squirt. Back to the chum bucket with you. See? So, get you some oatmeal, or get you some bread, or get you some trap chow, or just make you a green light and start chumming for fish, it'll make things easier for you. Hey guys, if you hadn't yet, go over and check out my channel page because normally I do DIYs and I've got a long list of DIYs. And if you go look, you might find something you like. And if you do, click subscribe and ring the bell so that YouTube will notify you when I post videos and you can watch them. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next build.